Good day, human Latiosites. This is Latios Azubril, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Grass Jewel, the official video guide. Here we are, Route 115, right outside of Meteor Falls. Last time, we took on the trainers within the Crashdown Cafe. This time, we're heading to Meteor Falls. Now, just to make my life easy, I'm going to use a Max Repel. Time for us to be repellious. All right. Now, last time I also got, I took Dive off of Chikorita, so now we can actually go teach Waterfall to Chikorita, because apparently we keep on alternating between HMs. Because we kind of need them. Alright. Let's go up the Waterfall. All right. We can battle them, but eh, whatever. Let's just keep going. This is where we dragon users do our training. The champion even visits. Now, do you see how special it is here? But the champion isn't a dragon type trainer. At least the champion from this region isn't. Hmm. Interesting. Alright, let's Moonblast. So obviously you can't access this area until after you beat the last gym leader because you need Waterfall. So. Alright. Take this Moonblast to the face. But, if you want a Bagon, Bagon, whatever it is, uh, however it's pronounced, should I say, this is obviously the way you'd want to go to get there. I want to know more about your power. Only we'll registered in the Pokenath. Alright, it's registered by Dragon Tamer Nicholas. Alright. So. Well, there is this way. We got ourselves a PP up. Although we could buy them, so they're not as uh, special as I suppose they are in normally in games. But that's okay. All right, let's go. Oh. I lead the Kanto Johto Elite Four. You can call me Lance, the Dragon Trainer. I'm Claire, the world's best Dragon Master. I can hold my own against even the Pokemon League's Elite Four. Do you still want to take me on? Fine, let's do it. As a gym leader, I'll use my full power against any opponent. Okay! So, here we go in a battle against... Champion Lance and Leader Claire. Yeah, I couldn't really add, um, new sprites for them, so... Sorry. But they are here! Nevertheless. So, leading up with a Dragonite and a Salamence. I don't know how I feel about that. Okay, let's Moonblast on the Mance. Ice Beam on the Dragonite. The good thing is, we have... Our team is pretty good with dragons. Next up is going to be Charizard. Huh. Alright. So the Ice Beam on the Dragonite, and that is going to be an easy one hit KO, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Alright. Dragonite is done. Next up is going to be Gyarados. Huh. You know what? How about Thunderbolt and Surf? Because we're going to outspeed with the Thunderbolt, the Surf, and that's going to easily get rid of the Gyarados. Alright, so the Gyarados is going to go down. Next up is going to be... 
Claire's final Pokemon, the Kingdra. Charizard's gonna eat Q, though. That's actually gonna hurt Speedy quite a bit. Hmm. Alright, well... But on the other hand, it's also gonna hurt that Kingdra. Okay. The Surf isn't gonna finish off the Charizard. What I'm thinking is if I Moonblast on the Kingdra next, that'll get rid of it. Even if it ends up costing me Speedy. But it's not like this is a Nuzlocke. So, let's get rid of the Dra of the, um, the Kingdra and Surf. So the Kingdra's going down. Sacred Fire on Rain. That is a weird move. You're gonna get the burn, but it doesn't even matter. It doesn't even matter. You're going down to the Surf. You're not gonna live the Surf without something next to you. Alright, so Charizard is going down. And the final Pokemon is an Aerodactyl. Hmm. Alright, you know what? Obviously we're going to tag team on this thing because we really have nothing else to do. So, Thunderbolt, not on Rain, on the Aerodactyl, and Surf. It's probably going to Earthquake speed, oh, Earthquake and take down Speedy first before we can actually land the Surf. No, we're going to one-hit KO that thing. That thing's not especially bulky. So we defeated Champion Lance and Leader Claire. It's over. I felt happy to witness the rise of a great champion. I lost? How is this possible? So we got $50,000 for winning. Whatever you, you have to face from now, don't you dare give up. If you do, I'll feel even worse about having lost to you. Give it your all. I'm sure you already know this, but dragons are sacred and legendary creatures. That's why I won't lose next time. Alright, so we obtained TM2 for Dragon Claw. So this is the room where if you want to find a, um, Bagon. No, wait a minute. Actually, I don't think you can in this room. I think that room actually might have no Pokemon in it. But if you want the TM and if you want to battle Lance and Claire, that is where to go. Now, fun fact, both of them actually each have a team of six Pokemon, but you're never going to see the back three in their party because they always do a double battle. Unless you only have one Pokemon, I'm guessing, on your team. If you only have one Pokemon on your team, I'm guessing you'd battle them individually. But... That's just, um... Minor detail. Wait a minute, we want to go this way. We want to battle a different champion. T we obtained TM23 for Iron Tail. Also, up this way. It's the final uh, mythical Pokemon that we didn't catch yet. You know what? Let's go. Alright, so this is where you find the mythical Jirachi. Alright, I don't know if I want to weaken this thing at all, because no matter what I do, it's going to do too much damage. What about Rain? If I E-Speed... It's going to Meteor Mash. It's going to gain its attack, but it doesn't matter. Alright. I don't want to crit, but I do want to e- I do want to e-speed on this thing. Please don't crit. Do not crit, no matter what you do, Rain. Don't crit. Do not crit. Alright, good. Double edge. Um... Huh. I think it's time we start throwing balls at this thing, because if it 
if I get it, if I get a crit, double edge will kill it. So, let's go. Come on, Jirachi, stay in the ball. Stay in the ball. Stay in the ball! Yes! There we go! With that, we have captured Jirachi. It is the Wish Pokemon. Let's give you a name. I want to name you... Um... I don't know. I'm just going to name you Wish. And if you have the move Wish, then it'll actually say Wish used Wish. Alright. So if you want to catch a Bagon, I think, or a bunch of the, uh, also I think, possibly the Fossil Pokemon, I think? I'm not positive. This is the place to go. This room. Of course, you're also very likely to find a Soul Rock or a Lunatone. And they're kind of strong. So. Here we find. Okay, it's a Lunatone now. And what else can we find here? The most likely thing to find is a Soul Rock or a Lunatone, honestly, because they are the, uh... They're just the most common Pokémon in this, uh, place, but... You, you can also find other Pokémon here. Like, for instance, here's a Kabuto. It's not all that strong, but it's here. So, the fossil Pokemon are in the wild in this room, and I think also Bagon. That said, let's actually heal up our Pokemon because we've got ooh, another battle to do. Actually, I feel bad because you only have minus 12 points, but whatever. Let's go. Oh wow, Eric! I'm amazed you knew where to find me. Do you, uh, maybe think of me as just a rock maniac? No, that can't be right. We battle alongside each other at the Staples Space Center. You should have a very good idea about how good I am. Okay, Eric, if you're going to mount a serious challenge, expect the worst. Alright, so we battled him once, we battled with him in Moss Deep. We battled against him and Wallace in Battle Frontier. But here we go, one on one. We are challenged by Pokemon trainer Steven. Alright, he is leading off with the Skarmory. This is the, pretty much the final battle of Emerald version. Of course, being Grass Jewel, we had to up the ante a little bit, so all of his Pokemon are level 100. But honestly, he's not the most difficult trainer in the game to beat. Alright, let's go into Rain. Next up is Armaldo. Okay, let's go for a Surf. So, we got the super effective stab on him. Okay, Armolo is down. Next up is gonna be Agron. We can just stay in. The only threat his team really poses against us is the Metagross, to be honest. And we got a crit there. Alright, nice job, Rain. Okay, next up is going to be Cradilly. I'm gonna go into Quacker. Quacker should be able to handle this. Let's let's brick break. Take a brick break to the face. And that is going to... It's going to just live. Ancient power. I bet you get the boost, too. 
you are gonna get the boost, but that actually is... That's actually really bad for us, because that means you may not speed us now. Unless we can get a crit. The crit will break through the defense boost, and he's gonna go for a full restore now, so although he, he is probably gonna outspeed us... Let's do this. Alright, come on, Quacker. Use that stick! Use the stick! I believe in you! Use the stick! You have it! Use it! No, we're not using the stick. Alright, so another ancient power being boosted by this um, by the special attack boost will be enough. Yeah, that's gonna take down Quacker. That's gonna take down Quacker. Alright. Did you get another boost? You didn't get another boost. Okay, good. Alright, Speedy, you're gonna have to handle this then somehow. I fear you are the best option to outspeed this thing. Given the current turn M scenario. Alright, let's Moonblast. It might live though. No, plus one special attack, special defense isn't gonna do it. All right, next up is gonna be the Metagross. Um, Rain or Speedy? Speedy, I'm gonna let you try to handle this thing. It's gonna go for a meager match most likely, but you can go for you can try burning it. Even if it gets the attack boost, if you can burn it, it won't make a difference. The attack boost won't matter if it's burned. Give me the burn. No burn. It has Fane Attack! Ladies and gentlemen, this thing is gonna destroy Speedy. <laughs> Remember how I said this game ups the ante? This is how we up the ante. Alright. Rain, you're in. For some reason, I didn't expect to actually go for the faint attack there. Alright, can Surf do enough? It will be enough. We're getting a crit! I don't know, the crit might have actually mattered. Alright, and this final Pokemon now is going to be Claydol. Steven, well played with that faint attack. Well played. Take the Surf to the face and you're going down. That Claydol doesn't want to take a Surf. I'm telling you, it doesn't. Not even. All right. So with that, we defeated Pokemon Trainer Steven. You. I had no idea you'd become so strong. So we got $29,200 for winning. Come to think of it, ever since our paths first crossed it in Granite Cave in Duford, I had this feeling. I thought that you would eventually become the champion. My predictions usually come true. And where will you go from here? <laughs> even I couldn't tell you that. Okay, cool. Alright, Steven. Later, dude. Alright, we are gonna heal up, and then... Why don't I just... Why don't I just go to where I'm going anyway? Let me fly! Alright. Let's just say things are going to get even more tough for us, I'm sure. Maybe not. Probably. Definitely. Yes. Let's go heal up. Now, throughout this game, there are also, once in a while, you can come across a certain trainer who is uh, more than happy to battle. So... If you recall, we had those two appear from the, the, they're the Battle Frontier Frontier Brains. There's also a guy back here. Hey, man. Ah, the Moss Deep Space Center. Let's go! All right! So, here we go in a, and this will be no doubt an intense battle against Pokemon Master Eric. All right, leading off with the Azumarill and a shiny Mudkip. Alright. Let's Thunderbolt and Surf. 
I'm a little afraid of that Azuril. It might have a one-hit KO. In fact, there's a good chance it does. All right, the Mudkip's gonna get destroyed by the, by the Thunderbolt. All right, next up is going to be the Chikorita. So that's actually not good for the Surf. You're gonna Muddy Water. Don't you dare get the Don't you dare get the Accuracy drop. You're getting the Accuracy drop. You're getting the double accuracy drop! Oh my god. And you're gonna avoid- The one that the Surf was intended for is gonna avoid it. Oh my god. That Azuril must be taken care of. The Chikorita... It's not as scary as, scary as the Azuril right now. Alright, let's... Mm, I can't risk trying to get the special defense drop because I don't think it's going to happen. Although it would be really nice if we could. I bet you we're going to miss the sort of fun Azuril anyway. Okay, we're going to hit the Azuril. It's not going to be too bad though for it. Hmm. I say same thing this turn unless Jack Arena manages to... You're going to Sludge Bomb on Rain. You could go for a Sludge Bomb on Speedy, you could go for a Giga Drain or something on Rain. But you go for the Sludge Bomb on Rain. That is a weird move. The good thing is, assuming that the Accuracy Drop isn't too prevalent, we can probably take down the Azuril now. The big concern is what comes afterward. So, Moon Blast and Surf. We're gonna miss. That is actually going to be huge. Actually, you're gonna spring up, so it's not even gonna... Rain Mist. Obviously, it's, you know, sprang up. That's not going to do very much for Chikorita. Leaf Blade. Rain, it's been fun, but it is now officially time for you to go down because you're not going to live a Leaf Blade from a, from a Chikorita. That's just not going to happen. So! Time to go into Matt. All right, let's tag team on the Azuril. Hopefully the Azuril actually, wait a minute, why would I, why would I moon blast on the Azuril when it's bouncing? I'm trying to think of it, that was actually a really stupid play. I should have gone for the Chikorita. On the other hand, I think I'd rather handle this Chikorita right now than whatever comes next. So, tag team on the Azuril. Let the Chikorita keep paydaying whoever it wants. I mean, the only big thing that makes Azuril a slightly more scary opponent than Azumarill is the fact that type coverage. Because the only thing we have that has a, a poison or steel move, it's not stab. And wouldn't outspeed. Speedy outspeeds an Azumarill. For the most part. It's gonna just live. You know what? At least he's gonna use up his full restores on the Azumarill. Not on something else. So, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with him using up his full restores on this thing. Alright. Moon Blast and Moon Blast. Oh my god, we're gonna miss! And Matt's going down. That is... That is like the worst case scenario. That is legitimately the worst case scenario. Which means I have to take care of... Now Speedy's gonna go down, isn't it? Isn't he? No, he's not. Huh. I don't think Chikorita wants to take a Sludge Bomb from the other Chikorita. I would Sludge Bomb, but I'm better off Sludge Bombing the Azuril. Okay. Are you real? Are you too real? Are you gonna go for a... I need to go for a Max Revive on... 
someone. I'm gonna go for Matt. And I'm gonna Sludge Bomb with Chikorita. And you're gonna bounce off. Which means you're gonna Sludge Bomb my Chikorita, right? Yeah. I'm being outplayed. You're probably bouncing on Chikorita. Mm. Okay, I need to heal up someone. I'm gonna heal up Rain. If somehow you bounced on Speedy. Yeah, I knew you were bouncing on Chikorita. Okay. Alright. You're gonna take down Speedy now. That's okay, because we did lose that accuracy, and that definitely made my life a lot more difficult than it could have been otherwise. So... Do I go in the Teddy and just feign attack and just clear the field? <laughs> Since I... At this point, we pretty much can, because if Rain outspeeds the Azuril, we can go for a Surf, destroy it, and then Teddy is free and clear to do whatever he's got to do. Or she's got to do, sorry. Um... Okay. First of all, the Azuril must go now. You're gonna go for your Muddy Water. That... Don't you dare get the accuracy drop. Don't you dare get the double accuracy drop. Thank you. Matt, I need you to land your Moon Blast now. Matt, if you miss this Moon Blast, I'm, I quit. Thank you! Alright, so the Azuril is going to go down, but Matt is now at minus one accuracy. So, he is going to go into the Shaman. Alright, the palettes of the, uh, of the shiny... Pokemon from 4th, 5th, and 6th gen are not perfect, I apologize. Alright. At least in this game. So. I need an Ice Beam on the Shaman. The Shaman is a bigger threat than, than the Chikorita by far. The Shaman is the threat. So, Moonblast on the Shaman. Ice Beam on the Shaman. You're going to attack Matt. Matt has enough special defense. We should be able to live that. Not that comfortably, but there's the Ice Beam on the Shaman. It's quite effective. It might not Oko, though. But it's going to do some damage. If we can land the Moon Blast, that'll definitely take it down. We're getting a crit! We're getting a crit. Alright, I don't know if it mattered. But... Don't lift it. Don't look at a gift crit in the mouth. All right. Moonblast is gonna land on the Latios. Payday, Matt. You've done your job. Good job. All right. So Matt's going down. I'm going into Clacker. I'm gonna heal up someone. Possibly Matt. Possibly speedy. Probably speedy, actually. Quacker's not going to get a chance to even land a hit because the Latios is going to go for a, um... The Latios is going to go for, like, a psychic move on it before we have a chance to actually do anything. So I'm going to let Rain attack the Latios, even though he's probably actually going to go for a full restore on it. So I guess I might have been able to knock off the, um, Soldu. But, whatever. I could have gotten a knockoff on the Soldu, but you know what? That's okay. Can we get a freeze? Give me the freeze. Come on. Sludge bomb. All right, Quacker. That's gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt. Not gonna. Not gonna lie. That's actually it. Wasn't too bad. It's not stab. Nor super effective. 
Alright, I think Ice Beam will finish off the Latios. But we still have to consider that the Chikorita is still here, so... I am going to heal up Matt. Because I don't know if Rain will actually outspeed the Latios. And now Ice Beam and the Latios. Yeah, Latios is gonna outspeed. Going for a Payday. Interesting. It's still gonna be enough. It's still gonna be enough, so Quacker's gonna go down. But now I have a free switch into... I guess Matt. Even though my luck that Chikori is going for a Sludge Bomb. But the Lottie is the bigger threat right now. Alright, so it's gonna go down. Alright, and his final Pokemon is... Latias. Big shocker. Alright, there's the Leaf Blade that's actually gonna hurt because it's physical. But then again, it's from a Chikorita, so a physical move from a Chikorita isn't gonna do that, that much compared to a special move. On the other hand, a physical move is gonna do a lot more to Mac than special moves, so it kind of balances out. So I say get rid of the Latias and then take care of the Chikorita. So Moonblast and Ice Beam. Luster Purge. You know what? You know what? That's Soul Dew boosted, so it might actually... No, you're not going to KO. Good, thank you. All right, we're going to land an Ice Beam then. Can we get a Freeze? No Freeze. There's the Moonblast. That's Stab this time. Super effective. It's going to take it, finish it off. All right. So the Latios is down. Last is the Chikorita. It's going to take down the map, but that's okay, because that means we can handle the Chikorita from here. The Chikorita is, at this point, definitely handleable. Definitely handleable. So let's Flamethrower and Ice Beam. The reason why I let the Chikorita just sit there the whole battle, for the most part, was because it was not the threat <laughs> compared to everything else. Alright. So with that, we defeat a Pokemon Master Eric. Congratulations, you win. Yes. It's an, ex it's an existential crisis. I'm fighting myself. I wonder what space is like with Pokemon. Good question. Good question. So. For some reason, um... I have this tendency to appear at this part of the region. I don't know. Alright. So. That is the second battle with... Me. The creator of the game. Yeah, I just stuck myself in the game a few places. So. Whatever. Alright. Let's head... Back up toward Azuril Island Cave in Route 125. We're not actually going into the cave this time. No, we're gonna run to a wild Pokemon. It's a Poliwag! Alright. So, once again, this is Azuril Island Cave which I accidentally went into. I mean, you can always trade in your, um... You can trade in your Poke Salt and Poke Shells for the, uh, Shell Bell. So, if you, if you either find them or buy them or whatever. So. Of course, by Azuril Island Cave, you can imagine who's gonna show up. Right. Welcome! I feel that a victory is simply inevitable, so let's have a battle. Okay! So that's probably a hint as to what Pokemon he has. Alright, here we go. So we are challenged once again by Pokemon Master Eric. But this time with a slightly different team, obviously leading off with the Azuril. Because... Would you expect anything else? Would you expect anything different? Other than maybe leading off with a Mudkip with an Azuril somewhere in the team. All right, there's the Parrot. That is what I need. That is what I needed. You're gonna land a Hydro Pump. It's not Stab, it's not super effective. It's a powerful move, but it's not gonna do enough. All right. 
Let's go for another Thunderbolt. The thing is, I'm a little concerned about bringing it near... Oh god. There's the epic justice! Uh, where's the justice? Where is the justice today? Where is the justice? Alright. Rain, I need you to surf and I need you to finish this thing off. It has leftovers, so it might not be enough, but... I gotta try. I gotta try. I gotta try before this thing can epic justice its way to, uh, destruction. No! Oh my god! Okay, you know what? He's gonna go for a full restore now. He is definitely gonna full restore now. I need to get a special D drop on him. I need the special D drop. This is resisted, it won't do any damage whatsoever, but if it can get the special D drop, then it'll be worth it, because that would mean that Speedy can probably take it down if I can go for the revive. So, give me the special D drop. Give me the special D drop. Come on, hacks, come on, hacks, come on, hacks, 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 yes! All right, we're gonna get the special D drop on this thing. And this is just first Pokemon, too. All right. Now, I'm actually going to... Do I want to expect the Epic Justice? I'm going to predict the Epic Justice. I'm going to heal up Speedy. I'm expecting an Epic Justice to come my way. You're going to Hydro Pump. Huh. Okay. Fair enough. We got the special D drop on that thing, which means Speedy might be able to actually handle it now. If we can get this thing to minus two, that would be even better. I would go for Surf, but I don't think I'm going to get enough damage on it to make a difference. Even with minus one. No, we're not getting it. Alright, Rain. You have fought val valiantly, but you're going to go down now. You're not going to be able to take another epic justice. Oh my god! He's actually hard switching now that we got the we got the special lead drop and he's switching. The AI is too real. He's too real. He's going to the Dene though. That is too real. Payday. Green somehow live, somehow live, somehow live. I don't know the tough. Okay, good. Alright, it's a physical move from the Dene. We can live that. That should be enough to take it down. Alright, so the Dene's going down. Next up is going to be Victini. I'm gonna stay in. Alright, let's sir no, he's gonna outspeed and payday. Rain, it's been fun. It's been fun, but you're not taking a payday from that thing. Okay. In that case his speed is up. We need to paralyze this thing and then I can maybe earthquake, but I don't think earthquake will be enough. Alright, there's the Paralysis. Be fully parried. There's gonna Thunder Punch. Interesting. Don't you dare para. You gotta be kidding me. Alright. I'm healing up Rain. So much hacks going on here. Alright, you're fully parried. I am actually gonna full restore now because Speedy's not any good to me fully parried. I bet you get the para hacks again. I bet you get the hacks again. Wow, you didn't. Alright, that's good. That's good. That's good. In that case, I'm gonna Moonblast. I know it won't do that much, but this way it'll not put you into full restore range. Although then again, you would be the best Pokemon probably to, to, to be fully parried for me. Well, not to be, full, to be um, full restored, but whatever. 
rather you than the epic justice uh, Azuril. Alright, we're gonna take down the Victini. Next up is gonna be the Mudkip. I'm gonna stay in. You are actually gonna outspeed with an Earthquake. Is that an actual outspeed or do you have a quick claw? Not stab, so we're gonna live. We're gonna one-shot that thing. Alright, the Mudkip's going down. Next up is going to be the Azuril. Matt, I'm going into you. I shouldn't, but I am. I need to get the special D drop. Now he gets the free leftover boost. So that Azuril is like we never battled it in the first place. They're gonna outspeed us with the Moonblast. Oh my god, you got a crit. Give me the special D drop. Come on, just give me the special D drop. That's gonna cost me the game. Not getting the special defense drop is gonna cost me the game. Alright. It's not even worth it going for a move right now because it's gonna it's gonna take down Matt. I have no one to revive, so I'm just gonna heal up Speedy. There's the Epic Justice. I need to get this thing paralyzed. I need this thing paralyzed. And if possible, I might be able to knock off its um its leftovers. And I would take getting the knockoff. Alright. Give me the para. Come on. Come on, hacks. Work for me for once. For once, work in my advantage. It worked in my favor. It's gonna full restore. He's gonna take down Speedy and then full restore. He's gonna take down Speedy and then full restore. Best case scenario is I get a power, he's fully powered this turn. If I can get a crit, that would make things different, but no, nah, he's gonna he's gonna go for a full restore now. So that's gonna take down Speedy. I'm getting rid of that Azuril then. Here we go. Chikorita, you're in. You're doing this, Chikorita. Let's go. There's no way he doesn't full restore, which means I since it has Epic Justice, I have no misgivings about doing this. Full restore all you want. Take a fan attack to the face. Alright. Mm. You see, the, the funny thing is... The funny thing is, if he didn't full restore there, if he would have attacked, he probably would have outsped, and that probably would have KO'd. That's what I mean about the mind games that fan attack and Epic Justice cause. Or produce. Alright. Next up is gonna be Emolga. I'm gonna go into Teddy. Let's strength it. You're gonna payday. Come it's not stab, it's not super effective. Come on, we can live that. That's actually gonna hit pretty hard. And we're probably going to get Static Paralysis, aren't we? We're not- we're also not going to get a chance to attack the next move because... Unless we trigger the Quick Claw, which I'm not going to... I am not going to bank my odds on triggering the Quick Claw. So I am just going to heal up Speedy. You're going to Arrow Blast. That makes sense. And you're gonna get a crit. I don't think the crit mattered. Alright, Rain. I need you to somehow outspeed. I don't know if you can, but if you can, that would be awesome. Because I'm gonna Ice Beam. But it's not gonna Thunder. It's gonna Payday. Huh. Yeah, these battles take forever. <laughs> it's actually insane how long these battles take. 
So. Taking down the Amalgam, his final Pokemon is going to be Sylveon. I'm going to go on the Chikorita for this, I think. Let's Sludge Bomb it. It's going to Psychic, which is probably going to get the Special Defense drop if he doesn't actually one-hit KO. There's Special D drop, not that it matters, because it would be a two-hit KO anyway. Can we get the par- I mean, can we get the poison hacks? Alright, so that'll at least get some residual damage on it. Except, it is- It's not toxic. It has leftovers. And he has a full restore left. Well, and he has recovered. Oh my god, I could have just gone for... I probably should have actually just gone for for Sludge, um, for sludge Bomb again. I mean, this is Stab, but it's not going to do as much. You know what? Let's, let, 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 let's put this up to chance. If you recover, you faint. You attack me, I go down. That what, That's my insurance policy of it not going for recover. Alright. Let's go into Quacker. I'm gonna get rid of the leftovers. It'll be resisted and all, but... If we can somehow outspeed. No, you're gonna psychic. Quacker's done. Quacker's not living that. There's no way. There's no way. Oh boy. There's actually a possibility of actually losing now. To the Sylveon. <laughs> And I can't paralyze it. Alright, is it is its health low enough that the poison on top of the leftovers can be enough? I don't think it's gonna be enough. It's gonna survive on a sliver. Yeah, it's gonna survive on a sliver, but that's okay, because now you're gonna go for a full restore. I have a chance of paralyzing you. I can poison this thing. Oh, sorry, paralyze this thing that was poisoned. Alright, same deal. Thunderbolt again. This time, I'm predicting the para because... Because hacks has to work every once in a while for us. Like I said. Alright, now you're fully parried. No, you're gonna land a Psychic, but you know what, that's okay, we can live the Psychic. Your leftovers are gonna... Special D-drop all you want, I don't care. Leftovers are gonna get you out of full Restore range. Which means we can take you down. And that's game. That's game. So with that, we have defeated Pokémon Master Eric once again. Congratulations, you win. Alright, cool. No matter how the battle ends, at the end of the day, all Pokemon are our friends. Alright, cool. Cool. So. That was the, uh, third battle I guess we're having with them. Let's go find him again. Although, I guess we're battling you first. This piece is your secret training spot. Alright. If I had more control over the mock bike, perhaps we wouldn't have been battling her. I bet she's going to attack, too. Nope! Okay, thank you. 
random trainer battle in the middle of our big uh, thing. I don't know. All right, take this Moonblast to the face, Makuhita. All right, so we defeated Battle Girl Cindy. Come to think of it, I probably should have healed up. You know what? There's a Chansey right here. Okay. Now, back a while ago, this place was blocked off, but now, here we are at Sacred Field. Now, in Sacred Field, there's actually a Ground and a Kyogre that are actually free. Meaning, you don't have to actually go catch Ground and Kyogre in the um, Terra Cave or Marine Cave if you want them in this game. You can just get them literally for free. They're gift Pokemon. So, you can just pick them up here. I already have them, so I'm not going to pick them up in this in this um, LP, but you can get them if you want them. Also, here in Sacred Field, there are wild Pokemon. And they are legendary, for the most part, and pseudo-legendary. So basically, the starter Pokemon, like Raikou, Ante, Suicune, also Articuno, Zapdos, and Moltres, you can catch them here. You can also catch uh, pseudo-legendaries like Dratini here. So, this is where to catch them if you are, if you want them. And these are just Eladios and Eladios. They, they don't battle or anything. They're just, they talk. And here we have... Welcome, let's battle. Once again, making an appearance is the game's creator. <laughs> of course. Of course. Pokemon Master Eric wants the battle. Leading off with the shiny Mudkip. He does have a tendency to switch up his team a little bit. So basically, every time you battle him, his team is slightly different. There's five times- he battles five times in this game. Should I say he or I? I don't know. We're getting a crit and taking this thing down. So, next up is going to be a Chikorita. I only want a Quacker. This time he didn't lead off with the Azuril, but he still has one. As you could probably guess. Alright, we're gonna land a fly on this thing. And... We're getting a crit, we're getting a KO. I, the crit might have mattered, I don't know. Taking the thing down, the next up is gonna be Azuril. This is gonna be, a, this is gonna be fun, isn't it? This team is not, not gonna be that easy to beat, I can't imagine. Alright, he's gonna Moonblast. As long as it doesn't start Epic Justice or, um, even Bane attacking, I'm good. Give me a special lead drop, come on. Come on. You know what? If we can go down at the time when he goes for a full restore, then we can take him down. No, he's taking me down. That pity is too much damage. Wow. All right. Speedy, you're in. You're in. Make me proud. Give me the power hacks. Come on. Come on. Para. Para. I'll take the crit. I will take the crit. Oh my goodness. All right. Next up is going to be Charmander. It's going to rain. And it appears to be shiny. All right, let's go for a surf. Yes, I do have a tendency to use some shiny Pokemon. Whatever. Okay, so Charmander is going to go down. Next up is going to be Latios. I'm going to stay in.
I probably should have actually crunched. Alright, the payday is actually gonna do a lot of damage. Oh my goodness. Alright, you know what? Unless I get a freeze hex, I can't attack next turn. I have to actually heal up probably speedy. Freeze, please! Oh my god, we got the freeze! We got the freeze! I'm gonna crunch then, because based on the damage output we're getting, it's not gonna do enough if we Ice Beam. We got the special D drop, that's what I'm talking about. Which means now Ice Beam will do slightly more, which means I can- I have no reason not to Ice Beam now, because he's gonna go for a full restore. There's absolutely no way he doesn't go for a full restore now. So if we can get another Freeze, we can take this thing down. It's really weird how Crunch is a physical move, but it lowers special defense. I mean, I guess in third gen, when there's no- normally when there's no physical special split, that isn't an issue. But, freeze please! No freeze, okay. Now is the time that rain is gonna go down. I can't do anything about that, though. So, I'm gonna heal up- wait, it wasn't Speedy, it was Matt. I'm gonna heal up Matt. I'm going to heal up Matt now. Speed so Rain is going to take a payday to the face. And it's going to go down. There's there's no way I live that. No way. But, that's okay because I can take down the Latios with a Moon Blast from Speedy. Speedy will outspeed Moon... Matt won't outspeed with the Moon Blast. But I can do this. Latios doesn't want to take a stab Moon Blast at minus one special defense. Not, not at all. No way. Alright, so his final Pokemon is gonna be Blissey. Alright, Matt, you're up. Of course it's gonna be a Blissey. Okay. I'm gonna Psychic this thing. I probably should have gone for... I probably should have actually gone for the, um, sand attack. You know, actually, this thing's kind of soft-boiled. Maybe I'm better off going for the Psychic. Oh my god, you're just gonna stall? I'm about to just switch out and feign attack. I went the special defense drop. Give me the hacks, come on. There we go. Moonblast. That's okay. We're gonna take that like a champ. This will do slightly more damage than last time. Is that a crit? That is not a good time for a crit. That was not a good time for a crit. Matt. Ugh. Okay. If that payday would have actually landed, that oh, would have KO'd us, we would have been in a lot better shape. Because then I could just hard switch it. Oh, I could just, at that point, go into either Teddy or Chikorita and go for a faint attack while he goes for a full restore. But now I have to go for another Psychic. Alright, give me the special lead drop again. No. Alright, best case scenario is we is that thing goes for a soft boiled. Alright. I'm actually happy it went for a soft boiled because that means we get another chance to get the special lead drop again. And since that thing doesn't have like haze or anything, it it's not gonna get rid of the special lead drop. But oh my goodness, it's, we're still not getting the hacks. Come on, Matt, Matt, Matt. I believe in you to get the hacks. I believe in you to get the hacks. I believe in you to get the hacks. There we go. Now that thing's just a moon blast away from certain death. But, hmm, you're gonna payday. All right, is Speedy still? Yeah, Speedy's here, so we're gonna go for a moon blast and that'll take it out. That'll finish it off. Minus two, you're not living. You're not living. 
Nope. So, Blissey's going down. Alright. Congratulations, you win. Ah. Thank you. All Pokemon are our friends. Good to know. Alright. And the final one. I am aware these episodes are getting kind of long, but I'm trying to group things together. Well, of course, I didn't have to do all this stuff with um, the stuff at Meteor Falls, but whatever. So as we know, back up this way is Route 135, which would take us to Chikorita Meadow. But also down here would be um, the continuation of Route 120. As we, if you may recall, this is the Mudkip Marsh, if you recall, where we got our Mudkip. And this place was actually blocked off a while ago, early on. It's no longer blocked off, but here we are in the Azuril Cottage. So, here we have two people to battle. Someone who was really helpful in this game and someone who, um, was, uh, me. Alright, hi there. There's no way someone like you could beat me in a battle. Let's go. All right. So here we go against someone who was really helpful in making this game. So, Lady Samantha. All right. Got a Pache Risu. That's Earthquake. Now you're gonna thunder me. I bet you get the I bet you get the para. I bet you get the para. I am willing to bet you get the para. Well, I would actually lose. I would actually lose that bet. And I am happy to have lost that bet. Alright, take this earthquake. And that is gonna be enough to take on the Pache Risu. Okay. Next up is going to be Teddy Ursa. Quacker, you're in. And it is... Oh, it's a mint teddy bear. It's a mint teddy. Alright, let's go for a brick break. And... One hit KO. Alright, that's what I'm talking about. Nice job, Quacker. Next up is gonna be... You gotta be kidding me. We got another Blissey to handle. We got another Blissey to handle. Okay. Same deal as before. Special D-drop. Come on. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. As long as that thing doesn't go for that epic justice, we're sh we should be okay. And since we've seen the outspeed, that means we're going to land a Psychic. We may or may not get the special D-drop this time. Come on. Hacks. Hacks be with us. Hacks be with us. Hacks be with us. Come on. Nope. Alright, Matt. Actually, that's not Stab. It's not super effective. Matt, you might live. It's special. Yeah, alright. A crit would have probably done us in, but... We're living. Alright, there's a special D drop, which means you're gonna take me down now, and I'm okay with that. Because now I can go for a Moonblast with Speedy. 
Speedy's Moonblast might do enough being at minus two. Since you are at minus two. So, let's Moonblast. It might not be enough, though. Yeah, it's not enough. I should have gone for the Thunderbolt. The good thing is you are going to go for a full Restore now. So it, I might have been better off if you actually KO'd me there, to be honest. Alright. Actually, Thunderbolt might be better than Moonblast for us overall. Because we do have the Magnet. I keep forgetting we're holding a Magnet. But still. If we can get the Para, that would be very nice. I mean, we still outspeed either way, but I don't know. All right. So Speedy is about to get taken down unless we get a crit. And I don't know if a crit would actually KO. There's the para. Be fully parried. Come on, fully parried. Speedy, it's been fun. Alright, Rain, let's go. Let's surf it up and see what we can do. Or do I want to go for a crunch just to... You know, I'm going to crunch because I want to see if I can get a little bit of damage down on this thing, but I want the special D drop. I'm not getting it. Alright, Rain should take this like a boss unless we unless you get a crit. Hmm. Do I E-speed or I just surf now? Because you're gaining more health than I want you to. I'm gonna E-speed. I don't think this will do nearly- I don't think this will do quite enough to get you into the red zone. Or if it does, you should be able to heal up. Right, you're fully parried. Problem is, I don't know if the E-speed did enough to actually put you into, um... If it did more than the leftovers are healing off. I'm gonna have to surf at this point, and just hope for the best. If this is enough, awesome. If it's not enough, then. Hmm. You're going for a full restore now. You're definitely gonna full restore now. Ugh. That puts me in a horrible position. If it weren't for the full restores, these battles would go a lot quicker. But they take forever because I have to take down the, the most difficult Pokemon on the opponent's teams more than once, pretty much. The most time-consuming Pokemon take even longer because I get them so close to fainting, but I don't actually KO them. Then the full restore happens, and then I have to try again. Alright, there's the Moonblast. If it weren't for the leftovers, this thing would get taken down by a Surf now. But the leftovers are going to bring it out of KO range. I'm going for an Ice Beam. Ice Beam won't do nearly as much as Surf. I was hoping to freeze it, to be honest. The thing is, the leftovers might bring it out of the full Restore range. And that is the best case scenario. Why did I just ice you? I meant to surf. Now it's on me. That's on me. You know what? That's okay. That is fine. We can actually... I can work with this. I can work with this. Because now, you're going to go for a full restore. 
you're not gonna full restore. Right, even if I if if I if Teddy lives, a dizzy punch would have also done it, so. Dizzy Punch would have KO'd from this range. Next up is Pichu. Oh boy. It's a shiny Pichu. Alright, you know what? Let's pay let's Dizzy Punch. Can I get the uh, the confusion hacks, please? Nope, you're gonna surf. Surfing Pichu. Interesting. <sighs> Alright, you know what? Full restore all you want. Full restore all you want. All it takes is one crit and that thing is done. Goodbye, Pichu. Just don't throw your static. Alright, next up is gonna be Charmander. You know what? I'm gonna stay in. Go for a strength. It's not stab though, so it might live. It's only it's not quad effective, it's only super effective. No, it's going down. Alright, and the final Pokemon is gonna be a Cyndaquil. Alright, let's strength it up. Well, it's gonna live and it's- oh, Eruption's not gonna do anything. That's gonna do nothing. Teddy, you're fine. You're fine. That did pitiful damage. Of course it is in the red zone, which is why. Alright. Let's finish it off with it. No, you're gonna go for a full restore, but you know what? That's okay, because I'm pretty sure it's your last full restore. And we should be good. And that's gonna finish off the Cyndaquil. All right! That will win us the battle. So we defeated Lady Samantha. Is it Sunday yet? <laughs> you know, you can act, you can cook, and you can affect others, but regardless of the situation, you always have your family and friends. Good to know. Good to know. All right. I'm gonna heal up her Pokemon now. We took a semi-beating? I don't know. I could have just Sacred Ash, probably, and that would have healed up everyone. Except for Teddy. Of course, we are minus uh, in power points, but I think we're good with them, nevertheless. I think. I could be wrong. I don't know. I could always elixir during the battle, but... Let's go. Welcome to the cottage! Let's battle! Okay, so here we go for the final time! Against me. No, here we go against Champion Eric. Well, sorry, Pokemon Master Eric. You know what's funny? Funny story. It used to be, I used to actually just go by the, the Champion, but then, like, late in production, I changed it to Pokemon Master. Because I'm not the Champion. <laughs> I really never was in the case of this game. That's it, here we go against Pokemon Master Eric. He's leading off with the Shiny Mudkip. Alright, let's Thunderbolt. We're gonna outspeed. I think we've got this. So many shiny Pokemon. Alright, so the Mudkip is going to go down. Next up is gonna be the Chikorita. Let's go with the Quacker. The good thing is, some of these Pokemon aren't that difficult overall to beat. Some, I mean, they're, they're kind of difficult, but also kind of 
doesn't take too many hits if you're strong enough. I don't know. Oh my god, you got the crit and the poison hacks. About what I was saying before. That has got to be a quick claw boost. Alright, we're taking that thing down. Okay, next up is going to be Lapras. Speedy, you're in. You're in. Let's do this. Let's go. Of course, not just any Lapras. It's a shiny Lapras. Alright. So, let's Thunderbolt. But we're not... Oh my goodness. That has to be a quick claw. That has to be a quick claw activation. There's no way a Lapras stuff being speedy. No way. Alright. Give me the para. Para. That's what I'm talking about! We got this. We've got this. Lapras is going down. Goodbye, Lapras! Thanks for playing. Alright, next up is going to be Shaman. Rain, I need you to outspeed or live or something. Something. I'll take anything you can do. Let's go. Alright. Ice Beam. You should be on all the payday for Shaman. This is quad effective. Let's see how much damage we can do to this thing. And it is going to just live. He's going to full restore, though. You know what? Full restore all you want. Full restore all you want. All it takes is a crit or potentially a high roll. And that thing is going down. Let's Ice Beam it. Let's go. Oh my goodness. Same output. I know it technically insanity is trying the same thing more than once, expecting a different result. But, in this case, there is a chance of a crit. So... And if he's going to keep on full restoring, at least he's not going to full restore on his last Pokemon, whatever they are. So, I think I know what they are. Well, at least I know what they are, I just can't necessarily remember every little detail. Can we get a freeze? We're getting the freeze! We are getting the freeze hacks! I don't think he's going to go for a full restore this time. He used up all his full- he used up a bunch of- no, he's going for a full restore, okay. He's using it another full restore. You know what? Use up all your full restores. See if I care. See if I even care. It makes sense for one of my biggest challenges to be me. Maybe you guys have an easier time again. We'll have an easier time <laughs> in these battles. I don't know. No freeze this time. No freeze this time. Which means we're probably you're probably gonna Giga Drain actually. So you're an Aeroblast. We can live an Aeroblast. It's stab. Unless you crit, we can live. If you crit, it's stab. And it's... A, mm, yeah, I think a crit might have actually been enough. I'm not sure. Probably not. But there we go. That's Shaman. Alright, next up is going to be Azuril. Because if you thought that I was going to have a battle without Azuril, you're wrong. It's that simple. Alright. Let's Psychic it. This thing better not Epic Justice me. Problem is, if it goes for a Payday, it's going to take down Matt. That's a crit. That is definitely a crit. But we're not getting the special D-drop. Hmm. Alright, we're going to live the Moonblast. Unless you crit. So if we can crit here, crit KOs, but I don't think we're getting consecutive crits. I want the special D-drop. 
Moonblast probably would have KO'd, actually, in, in hindsight. And you're gonna use your last full restore in the Azuril. If I would have gone for the Moonblast, we would have taken that thing down. Come on, give me the special D drop. Why can't I get the hacks when I really need it? I got that freeze unnecessarily. Matt, it's been fun. Okay. Speedy, you're in. Let's do this. We're gonna Thunderbolt. There are no more full restores, so we can do as much damage as we want. Give me the para. No para. Alright, Speedy, I'm sorry. You're probably going down to, to this. Yeah, alright. I'm gonna- I'm actually gonna heal up Speedy, I think, because I don't know if Rain's gonna outspeed. Nah, I'm going for the Surf. Alright, whatever. Azuril's going down. Okay, he's going to his final Pokemon, which is... Latios. Did you expect anything else? <laughs> he has no more full restores, though. But... That thing is going to hit pretty hard. Alright, Quacker, you can live the poison. You're not going to get a chance to attack anyway, so I'm going to use this opportunity to heal up... Hmm... I'm gonna help Speedy, because Speedy's more likely to outspeed. Melodius isn't gonna have a, a quick claw, obviously, it's gonna have Soldu. Um, that Mist Ball is gonna hurt. In fact, it wouldn't. doesn't matter. It doesn't have to hurt. You could have gone for whatever, and that would have been enough. Alright, what's Moon Blast? That is going to be a two-hit KO, which means as long as we can live a hit, even if we can't live a hit, we can always max revive. So, although the Mist Ball, I think, is actually going to be a problem if you get the special attack drop. You didn't get the special attack drop, so that's going to be game. That is going to be it. All right. So with that, we defeated Pokemon Master Eric. You win. All Pokemon are our friends. Yep, I know. So, that is the Azuril Cottage. So, from there... Hmm. Every once in a while, it's a nice time to go home and all. So, next time, we are going to go do, I guess, our final battle. Because we've done pretty much uh, everything, particularly uh, special, I guess. I don't know. All of the, we did those, uh, the, the post game battles. Some of them were really tough, some of them weren't that bad. Of course, you do really want to train up to, like, level 100. Though the champion has a level 100 Pokemon, so... You probably want to actually have a level 100 Pokemon before you... ...get toward the post-game stuff. Although you should be able to get through the the, 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 the first post-game story arc thing... Um, ...without level 100 Pokemon, assuming you can get past the, um... ...assuming you can get past the Pokemon League. But we do have one more challenge to go, and maybe one more little surprise. So, thank you for watching. As always, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time for the finale of Let's Play Pokemon Grass Jewel. See you guys next time. Goodbye!